you know, I think some of the uh, advances in, in cellular therapies, as, as we've talked about, um, you know, kill switches, masking, um, how do you, um, you know, how can you engineer these CAR T or, or other cells to, um, to improve their, um, you know, uh, on target um, efficacy with reducing the um, on, on target off tumor uh, side effects. I think that's, that's um, a lot of advances in that field. Um, and then, you know, given our work in, in IL-7 and IL-15, I think the um, immunocytokines um, and engineering of, of those to try and, um, you know, same thing, reduce toxicity um, and make sure these are targeting the, the right cells and get them into the tumor microenvironment. I think there were some, some really nice uh, advances, advances and interesting work. Um, you know, a lot of these cytokines are, have relatively broader pleiotropic effects. And so some of the data, for example, with IL-2 variants that, you know, are engineered to, to hit more of the T effector cells as opposed to the regulatory T cells, um, how do we target that more to the tumor microenvironment versus the systemic um, milieu? Uh, I think those are, are we're making some real advances in, in that field. Um, and I think with the um, approval or the, at least the pending approval of, of some of these like N803 from Immunity Bio, I know that's kind of in the works. Um, I think we're going to be seeing more and more of these in, in the clinic um, there are already a lot in, in, um, you know, earlier clinical trials. Uh, but I think, um, I think that could potentially be a game changer.